Hey guys, what's up and welcome back. It's Curmudgeon Jones here coming to you with some League of Legends action. Today I'm going to be trying out a more of a for fun build, but something that I think can actually be decent. I'm going to be going for a tank fizz build. So the runes I'm going to be using are Grasp of the Undying, Demolish to make us a little bit better of a tower killer, Bone Plating and Unflinching just to get me some tenacity. And then I'm going Presence of Mind and Tenacity. The Presence of Mind is to keep my mana up in the lane phase. And Tenacity is nice because it makes Fizz a lot harder to lock down and makes him more slippery. Now the build I'm going to be going for is not your traditional mage build, assassin build. I'm going to be going for a Frostfire Gauntlet full tank build. Um, I tried this not too long ago some point in season 11 i don't remember when it was and i went frostfire gauntlet and it felt pretty good really i'm not gonna lie um the w constant dps with the presence of mind proc um, is really nice in lane phase because your dot stays on them keeping your presence of mind going and keeping your grasp of the undying ready to go and recently frostfire got an actual buff which gave it 20 ability haste which is really nice fizz really likes ability haste he likes being able to spam his e out and his q out to stay away from enemies and it lowers the cooldown of his shark which helps him engage and look for fights so the main goal of the lane phase we're just looking for level two right now i took my e at level one because it gives me the ability to run away and also chase get some nice damage in on him there He stunned me. That's okay. We have the Corrupting Potion, so we have a little bit better sustain than this guy, which is nice. He's going to get the level 2, unfortunately. There's not a whole lot we can do about that, but we can try to poke him as much as we want. Another nice thing about Fizz top lane is you can take the Teleport and the Ignite because you're so hard to lock down and kill. Now, this is where it gets a little bit more fun. I'm taking the Q level 2 because if I can keep Grass procs up, which I normally can, I can proc, proc Grass with my Q. Okay, we got his flash, that's really good. Now we're very ahead in this lane and we can kind of just chill. He might TP back, so I'm gonna try to shove. Once we have our W, it makes last hitting a lot easier because if we last hit with that, it reprocs it for us. Okay, he didn't recall. So now we're chilling. This also gives us access to our dot, which is really good if we can keep that on him. Because then we can queue in and look for those grass procs, which is kind of the whole trading pattern on this build. Nice! First blood, beautiful. Let's go. We outplayed him like crazy right there. I am going to max E because it gives us a lower cooldown. It helps us wave clear a little bit better and makes our gap close and our escape a lot better as well. That was a really good start for us because now we can get double ruby crystal grab ourselves a control ward and we are ahead which is nice so normal fizz would probably not be able to do much against tom kench because he's so tanky and that is what fizz does not like but because we're building for more of a that takes too much mana probably to use that to get back to lane quickly but because we're building more of a tank build we can actually trade with him we have good sustained dps because of our passive we can get consistent grass procs and we can keep our mana up thanks to presence of mind so what i was talking about is if we can keep our dot on him or on minions it keeps us in combat which keeps our grass proc going and keeps our presence of mind going and then all we have to do is look for q in with grass to get grass proc so we do this and then we can just whoop, and then we can activate our passive to get some extra damage in look for another grass proc here We need to be a little bit more scared when he gets ulti, but right now, I think we honestly can control this pretty hard. That's not great. Use that to try to run. Use all of our charges. We're just trying to survive for our cooldown here. That's what I didn't want to happen. I think we're okay. We're fine. We're fine. We're actually just going to look for a recall here. He smited a minion. It's going to push out back to me. We'll just grab our bombies, and then we will just TP back to our lane. We're very hard to gank, even though we don't have flash, just because we like to run uh, max our E, and the lower cooldown it gets, the better it makes it for us. Just in case Ramos comes back, I'm going to do that real quick. 
And then I'm going to jump back over here. That's fine. He can kill me if he wants. I don't really care. Let's get in combat so that we can do this. And then avoid the tower shot and jump back. Okay. Perfect. Is Ramus coming? Is there mid laner coming? What are the spam pings for? We're fine. You can also last hit wards with that and it resets the cooldown, which is really nice. Keep getting as many grass procs as we can so that we get tank here. We have Chum the Waters now. We're pretty far ahead, actually, here. We can look for a kill if this pushes back to us. It's going to be kind of hard to get if it doesn't push back to us. But we really just need to uh, cram this into the tower. Okay, our minions walked in, so now we could kind of chill if we really wanted to. I like to use my W to last hit because it refunds the cooldown and the mana. So you can kind of just spam it out. We can't really get these minions. We'll just stay in range of the XP. We're pretty far up in XP on this guy because he hasn't even gotten level 6 yet, which is really good. It's going to push back to us now because he doesn't have enough minions to hold the freeze. His minions will group up here, push back to us. He might TP back, though. Let's see if he's looking for a TP. Let's just stop that. All right, now we're keeping him here for a little bit longer. Denying him some XP. All right, now we shove. Because then we can get a back off. He needs to TP to catch these. If he doesn't, then he misses out. Let's push one more. Let's try to force that TP. Oops. Okay, we forced the TP. I'm just going to get these minions, and then I'm going to be out of here. All right, perfect. All he has is double ruby, and we have our bombies already, so we're very far ahead. Um, we'll look for an all-in when we come back. That's going to be our goal. All right, so TF, we have to be careful about, though. I think we'll just grab the pieces of our Frostfire. I don't think we necessarily need boots right now. Ramus is a little scary, but it's not too bad. Let's do this and then try to get the mana back. Darn. I was hoping I could get the mana back, but that's okay. We have Ignite up again. We'll have Ult up pretty quick whenever we get back to lane, so we can look for an all-in. Um, our bot lane is doing okay. Our mid lane is doing not great. We're actually kind of losing everywhere. Because he has a kill and he's ahead in CS. She has three assists. He has a kill and two assists. She doesn't have anything and he doesn't have anything. So we're kind of behind right now. I mean, I'm, I'm here for this fight, bro. Big fish. Oh, he ate me. Maxing my W second. Because that's where a lot of my damage over time comes from. We had three charges going, so... I mean, he's ahead of us HP-wise, but... It's okay. We can go up for this. Which is really good. He might dive on us. We're up quite a bit of XP. We're up a full level. Um, we're scared of Ramus right now, though, so I'm going to look to get a ward. Yep, that's what I was afraid of. We're just going to peace on out of that situation. Oh, that hit us. TF can't catch us, right? Oh, man, we might be dead here. All right, we're fine. We do need to... Oh, back, though. Wish I'd have known he was coming. Okay, I'm just going to let this push back to me, and I'm just going to catch the XP and the gold, and then I'll look for a recall when I can. So we're not winning this as hard as we want to, but, you know, this guy has a lot of help, unfortunately. I'm going to let the next wave approach, and then I'll hard shove. Do 
darn it. Okay, he's not gonna let me. All right, we'll just look for the recall then. That's really bad. Ramus is really fed. Our team's not doing too hot. I'm gonna go cooldown boots when I can. So let's grab this. Uh, I don't really have a great buy here. Let's grab the control board. He maybe gets a kill off that. Mm, I don't know. Oh, good interrupt. Flash? Zen doesn't have flash. He has red smite though. He should use that. He should red smite him. Why did you not red smite him? Like this, this. You gotta use your cooldowns. Thank you for dying to him, though. I really appreciate that. That makes this game so much harder for me. Like, why would you not use your red smite? You know what it does, right? It wins that 1v1 for you, in case you were curious. Well, this is going to be hard for me. But one thing I have going for me is I am a little bit better of a split pusher than Tom Kench. Because I took Demolish, and I have better wave clear than him. So, worst case scenario, I can look to push out and roam and hopefully impact mid, or back up my jungler. Just not able to win this as hard as I want to, because... Unfortunately, Tom Kench is getting help from the friendly team and the enemy team, so... Let's look for a roam. Uh, there's nothing I can do there. Unfortunately. We get Dragon, though, I think. Yeah, so that's good. Ocean Drake is helpful. I'm gonna go cooldown boots. Um, tank boots would be fine, too, but I already have quite a bit of tenacity. And I kind of just want to have my ult on a lower cooldown and my abilities on a lower cooldown so that I can run around more. We just don't win these fights now. Unfortunately. Alright, I'm going to recall and get my Frostfire. There's just, unfortunately, not a whole lot we can do with all the help this guy's had. We also didn't farm that excellently, so... Grab another control ward because he cleared mine. Mid lane's feeding. Makes this game hard. That taunt hit me. Wow. I tried to juke it and then get my E back up, but I couldn't. Dang. Alright, well, I got my cooldown boots. Um, next, I'm going to go for... Frozen Heart, I think. More cooldown. Um, we'll slow his attack speed, which is helpful. We'll slow Yasuo's attack speed. Um, doesn't really help against TF, but it'll help against these three. So, I mean, I tried. There was only so much I could do there. I got two of them. Zin Zhao did okay. I mean, he, we really probably shouldn't have went back in there. Um, we really tried to force that pretty hard, but it's okay. Um, I'm really strong, but I don't know if it's going to matter. Because TF can just can control the whole map. TF plus Ramus is just going to make this game real hard for us. So I'm going to shark him if I can. I'm going to do this and then shark him. I'm not winning this.
No way, dude. What a champ, by the way. I have these many items, and he destroys me. He has this. I have this, this, and this, and he wrecks me. Not even close. Not even a close fight. Well, I mean, nothing I can do about that. This isn't a very good matchup. Preferably, you want to be against something squishier or a bruiser. I mean, the tank matchup is nice because it lets you get a lot of grass procs. Like, I've used it 32 times, but it's hard to actually kill him. I don't know. I, I feel like I should be able to beat him, though, whenever I have this. This makes me think that it's just weak. It's not like I missed anything. I hit my ult. I mean, Q, E. I landed every ability. Does he really just take this here? No, he doesn't. I kill him here, though. Okay, that's good. I got the shutdown gold, so that's good. Okay, get a demolish proc here. Maybe get some more structure damage done than that. I gotta be careful though, because Ramus and TF could be coming. Nope, Ramus is bottom. Don't have to worry about Ramus. Ugh, he has Bramble now. Oh, that makes my life harder. I probably should got should have gone Bramble too, honestly. But it's okay. Warden's Mail will help a little bit. I can't stay too long or else he's gonna push and get that, so. Um Yeah, Bramble's really good this game. I'll probably go Thorn Mail after Frozen Heart. I just really wanted to get the cooldown reduction and the attack speed slow. Honestly, we just lose this game off the back of kiana just being really bad honestly kiana is a dodge champion um for for those of you guys that are out there playing like ranked and actually trying to climb and do all that stuff if you get kiana on your team just dodge it they're never good man they're just never good That's really bad. You also are getting fed in bot lane. I don't feel like that should happen, but I think it got snowballed by TF and Ramus, unfortunately. His region is better than mine. That's another reason that this lane isn't very good, because if I can't all in and kill him, he's going to win, because he can out-sustain me for sure. So. Uh-oh. Ramus was here. Quinoa can maybe clean up. Nope. She's useless. Got it. Well, this is just one of those games where you kind of get team gapped. I played fine. I don't really want to surrender. Thanks. Yeah, let's not. Let's try. How about we try? I know it's a team gap, but I would rather at least get, you know, like 15, 20 minutes out of this game. 20, 20 minutes, 25 minutes out of this game than just give up immediately. Um... I feel like I did okay. I could have done better. Um, this isn't, the, but this isn't the best matchup. Like, there's just only so much I can do, you know. And maybe it would have been a good idea to go like with the scaling health thing too instead of tenacity. But I don't know. I like the tenacity a lot because it helps me really be mobile and get around. What? He can jump that wall? That's a cool change to that champion. I really like that change not as if Ramus wasn't mobile enough ah. 
I mean, I farmed okay. I didn't farm great. With this much fighting, my farm is decent, but I didn't farm, like, excellently or anything, so. I don't know. I just think this pick is a little weak. It's stronger because of the Frostfire buff, but it still seems a little weak. Um, it would be better against, like, maybe a traditional bruiser or something squishier that, like, I actually could kill. Tom is just... Tom is just one of those champions, like, after the changes. He was already really good at laning, and people just didn't play him top lane. His lane phase was, like, the most ridiculous part of him. And now, they turned him into a top laner, and they made his lane phase even better. I guess we don't care about our base. Like, that's cool, I guess. I think our team gave up. Let's go. Let's go for it. Why not? Great. I mean, I try, there's only so much I can do. Like, I can't. I can't solo carry this as much as I would like to be able to. I want to try Divine Sunder or Fizz, too, honestly. Or uh, Triforce. Both of those could be fun. I think Divine Sunder would be better than Triforce, but I don't know. There's just only so much I can do. You know. I built Tank. I didn't build Carry, so. And even if I built Carry, this would be a really... Like, if I built Mage, this would be a pretty difficult game. Jump. Thank you. Just dodge all of that. That's the nice thing about Fizz is you have so much mobility. And when you get a bunch of ability haste, you're very, very mobile. No, please just don't. Just Let's just try. Why not? I, I mean, this game is probably lost, but... Oh, well, she's dead. I don't know what she's doing trolling like she has the whole game I'm gonna kill them they're gonna kill Yumi too probably so I'm just gonna keep clearing or trying to clear We overchased. This build does a lot of magic damage too. It's still like purely magic damage because you're burning them with Frostfire. You're getting the... The thorn mail damage return, your W is all magic damage, and all your abilities are decent magic damage too, so. It's still a high amount of magic damage, it's just you're also a, a beefy boy. You're not like as tanky, obviously, as a traditional tank, because you don't have the scaling that they do, and you don't really have any abilities that increase your tankiness. But if you can get a lot of grass procs, it's pretty good. And you're tanky in another way like you're hard to lock down and actually kill because you're so mobile so you can look for opportunities to queue back through people to run away um, you can obviously look for opportunities to oh he's gone you can look for ease like my ease a five second cooldown right now which is really really good oh are they dead no okay maybe we can pick this tf though we can try right I'm just going to shark him. Okay, I missed him. He's going to flash. Yep. Knock him up. Oh, 
Should have ult. Oh, the ult wouldn't knock him back though. Well, that didn't work out. Run away. How do you do this poorly, man? And did she pick after she saw the tanks and the Yumi? Like, she should have known that her life was going to be really hard this game, right? Like, Yeah, it's, I mean, it's over now. Sure, I guess I'll vote yes, too. Oh, that's a cool bug. It restarts a second Cerner vote. Okay, well, that game didn't go as well as I would have liked to have it to. Um, unfortunately, that's just a team gap. There's not a whole lot I can do there, but I had fun. I mean, I still played the pick. Still got to show kind of what it's capable of. Um, tank matchups obviously aren't the best because they have sustain and they have things that make them tankier and you don't but i don't know i did 18,000 damage which isn't bad i lost to a yasuo obviously and then i lost to a ramus and a tom but i think i fought less than the ramus um and maybe less than the tom um and we were losing so it's kind of hard to get valuable damage in that game but overall i still had fun i enjoyed it um Perks of playing Fizz Top are you get to take Teleport and Ignite, which is always nice. You can get a ton of Grass procs, which gives you a lot of health and gives you a lot of sustain. Um, presence of Mind is really easy to keep up, so you don't really ever have to worry about mana. Um, there's a lot of good tank cooldown items that you can get, like you could get War Mogs, you could get Stone Plate. Um, there's a lot of good cooldown items in the tank tree, so um, that's always good for Fizz. He really likes cooldown reduction, obviously. Frostfire is nice because it helps you stick to people and keep applying your dot, which is where most of your damage comes from. Um, overall, I enjoyed it. We were down 8,000 gold. There was no way we were winning that game with a mid laner that was going 1 in 11 and a jungler that was like 1 in 7, I think, at one point. So there was no way we were winning that game. Every lane lost except for top, and top got a lot of help from Ramus and TF. So is what it is. We just lost. But thanks for watching, guys. I hope you enjoyed the video. If you're looking for a fun um, off-meta pick build to do feel free to check out frosty fizz tank fizz whatever you want to call it i uh, hope you enjoyed it and i will see you in the next video peace out One, two, three,